Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to Coffee and Cards. It is May 17th at 11.11. Well, now 11.12. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you're joining me live or on the replay, happy Monday. Hey, sis. How was your weekend? Um, we had a lot of exciting things. Well, we have a lot of exciting things happening here. Um, probably the next couple months will be interesting. We're going to be relocating, so that's exciting. Um, and um, But we'll still be able to meet up here on Coffee and Cards. It may just look a little different. So, hi, Heather. Morning. Um, okay, if it's your first time with us here, we will be using the Spiritual Support for Entrepreneurs Oracle deck. Um, it's a deck I created along with my friend Kathy Weiss, who is the Joy Healer on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Um, basically, as business owners ourselves, um, we created this tool because we... Um, knew what it was like to run our own business even before COVID. So um, the idea came about in 2019. Kathy and I met in May and I had this idea. Um, she came on board, um, but the whole creation and release of the deck all happened in COVID, which is kind of interesting because we had no idea about COVID or anything when we started it. So now the deck can be used even widely, more widely. It's um, you can use it if you're a business owner, if you're working from home. Basically, it helps you deal with some of the emotions that come up. So even if you're working in corporate, you'll notice that there's certain things that trigger you. Maybe it's for asking for a raise or if you run your own business, it's pricing your services or working from home now, feeling alone or isolated and all the stuff that comes with that. So morning, Roslyn. Great to see you. Um, so what we do here on Monday is we pick a collective card for everyone. So it's just sort of a generalized um, card and lets us know what's going to be happening in this week, what to look forward to, what to watch out for. And then we'll go through and you can request a card. So we go for about, we got like 29 minutes now left. So however much time is there, then we will pull a card for whoever wants it. So. With that in mind, looks like we got a good group coming on. I will go ahead and pull a card for all of us. And then as I pull another card specifically for you, if you request it, it will just sort of build upon that. So the deck is 138 page guidebook, a 44 card deck, all pictures that I took. Um, and as a graphic designer, I was able to do all the visual designs and they are created so that not only the words and the inside, but the image itself is actually part of the inside. So whether you're a visual person or more of a word person, it doesn't matter. It will cover both of it. And you can pull your cards every day. You can pull them every week or whenever you're feeling like it. Um, I usually pull three, but you can sort of go with whatever feels right. And there's some directions in the guidebook that go with it. So enough of the jibber jabber. Let's pull a card. We will talk about the card and then you can start requesting your own card. Oh, we're going to be looking at value today. So value. Each person decides what is of value to them. So kind of like what I touched upon when I was explaining a collective card. Value, um, each one of us gets to decide, which means you don't get to decide what your customers think your value is. So that could have to do with pricing, could have to do with um, salary. Um, not everybody will see your value. Even the products or services or whatever you're offering to the world, sometimes people will be into it, sometimes they won't. And let's look a little bit at the guidebook for this one and you can start leaving me comments now if you would like a card for yourself. Um, value is perception. Value is in the eye of the beholder. Value is communication. 
Everything is of some value, and that value, that rate, that cost is always arbitrary. There is no sp supply and demand. There is no better or worse. There is no good or bad. Each person decides what is of value to them. How do you perceive your value? Is it inherent or is it based upon specific skills, knowledge, acquired, gifts, talents, or something else? Why does this matter to you? Does it matter to you? There are many ways value is communicated in the results of the product, but more importantly, in how you make others feel. We understand that in the end, you are not responsible nor in control of how others feel. You can create the best possible environment so that the people you work with enjoy the energy you put forth into the world, but you cannot ever control that outcome. And there's a little more that goes on in there, but I want to definitely leave time to pull some cards. And my looks like my comments are not um, updating. So let me, I'm just opening up another window here so I can be sure to get your comments and take all my requests. And in the meantime, if you are enjoying your coffee with us or whatever beverage you are enjoying, enjoying. go ahead and take a sip. Let's see here. So if you're with us and you'd like a card, let me know in the comments and we will get started. Kind of looks like the picture isn't really updating here. So let me just move to see if we can get this update. Let me know in the comments if you are seeing me, if you are seeing the cards. What a strange little thing. Either way, I'm here. And if you're on, let me know. Let's pull some cards. Looks like we've got quite a few people on, but for some reason, no comments. So, um, let's see. So strange. Okay, good. All right, so if you'd like a card, go ahead and put it in the comments and I will pull one for you. If you are interested in getting your own deck, um, I will put the link where you can buy your very own and you can pull your cards at any time. Also, when you buy a deck, not only will you be supporting me and I thank you, but you will also get a free companion journal. So when you pull your cards, you can keep track of what cards you pull, sort of what comes up from that, and sort of where that leads to. So, um, okay. Looks like I'm going to just switch to me full. Since the cards seem to not be updating, I will show you the value card that I pulled. Each person decides what is of value to them. So, Sissy, let's do a card for you. And I will just take the that off. And then you just get to see me. Hi, everyone. So you can see my stack of decks here waiting for new homes. So let me know if you would like one coming to yours. Um, so as building on with the value card, we will see for you specifically, Sissy, what that means for you. And if you are on, we've got time. So let me know if you'd like a card. If you want to know what value, um, what part of value applies to you and your journey, let me know. So for Sissy, today we've got the stay card. Once you make plans, stay grounded and focused on implementing them. So I took this card during winter when everything seems to be still and not moving. And that reminded me of sort of what stay feels like sometimes to hold still, to know that things are happening. Um, they may just be slow, right? Because sometimes winter feels like it's never going to be over, but... Spring always comes, the snow pretty much always melts, 
the grass comes back, the leaves come back, the water starts to flow again. So the stay card is just a reminder that sometimes, even if it doesn't appear like something is happening, something is happening. And just like in nature, it's always a cycle. Summer, spring, fall, winter. Each one brings upon the next one. So what does that have to do with your values, Sissy? Maybe this has to do with you um, understanding your value and staying with that and not letting others' people perception of your value take you off course. So that's what we're going to go with today for you. And I hope that gives you some insight. And also, let's look at the guidebook. Because it's nice to just pull the cards, read them real quick, take you five minutes or less just to do this little step here. But if you're looking for more, that's why we created the guidebook. And as you can see, it's pretty thick. Every card is in here with some additional insight. So we couldn't put it all on the cards because that would be a really busy card. Um, and so for the stay cards, it says the present is all you ever have. There is time for planning the future, preparing a program or course of action. When you do that, you are still engaged in the present, engaged in thinking, planning, and preparing. Once you make those plans, you must stay grounded and focused on implementing them, entirely focused on the task at hand, not the outcome, not the worry of perfectionism, not the hiccups or backtracks that will occur. For all things reside in divine timing, and in the timing, sometimes you will perceive things as fast, full, busy, productive, and at other times, you will perceive them as slow, cumbersome, or downturned. All things are. Observe your reactions. Turn to us for guidance. Trust in what arises and that it is for you your well-being. When you begin to question your future, we say only this. The future is uncertain for all. That is part of the human condition. And so success, failure, or something in between that keeps you motivated and moving will happen whether you worry or not. So makes sense. Yes, that helps. Okay, good. Great. Perfect. I mean, that's the whole reason behind creating this deck is to just to offer you some motivation, some clarity, some insight. Sometimes it's just to say, hey, it's going to be okay. You know, as business owners or people working from home or um, I know for a sissy or a teacher, you know, working with kids or other educators, um, there's things that come up. It all has to do with our own life experiences. There's actually a card that is called clients. And in this case, um, I would like to show it to you because it's just a reminder so we're all dealing with our stuff, right? We're dealing with triggers. We're dealing with things going on in our daily lives. Um, but this card called clients is a reminder that they too have their own stories that dictate the way they're behaving. And this could also be for teachers with your students, for parents with your children. Everybody has something going on. So this card is a photo I took underwater in the Galapagos Islands. It's a school of fish, and they're all the same kind of fish, yet they're all a little bit different. Like you can see on the tails of the two at the top, one has two of those little black stripes, one has three. Even though they're the same, they all are a little bit different. And this is just a reminder, like you, they have stories that dictate how they behave in the world. So that's another great card to go with that today. So um, if you are on live with us, um, I'm here and I'd love to pull a card for you. So just all you have to do is let me know in the comments. Just say, yeah, I'll take a card or just say, hey, yeah, that makes a lot of sense or ask questions about the deck or how to use it. And if you're just joining us, we are using the Entrepreneur Oracle deck that I created with my friend Kathy Weiss, um, 44 card deck, 138 page guidebook. So full of lots of insight um, to help you with things like um, decision making, whether or not you should work with a client, um, even on how to plan your day. Um, 
spending time on certain projects or not spending time, when to offer a service, when to move on from something that's not working. Um, Roslyn would love a card, sure. And remember, we're building upon the value card. So whatever I pull for you, I want in the back of your mind to sort of think about how that applies to value, or does it? Maybe it's a whole separate, maybe it'll be a double whammy of things you need to look at this week, or just observe. Because all of this is not really about judging, it's just about knowing, knowing your own tendencies, knowing where you go with things. Um, and for you, Rosalind, we've got billing. And this is the only card in the deck, and I say the only card, but it's the only obvious card that deals with money. But money is one of those interesting things that we all have a story about. But in this case, billing, to receive first you must ask. And this reminds me of when I first started my business and I almost felt bad for invoicing people, for collecting payment or for charging them the right amount. Um, and so billing along with value to me, um, it's just, you've got to ask for what you want basically. Um, and that could be money. That could be support. It doesn't always have to be money as far as currency. It could be participation. It could be what are your expectations from other people? How are they participating? Um, and remember, they don't always see your value and maybe you're not seeing their value. So it's still an exchange. Um, so value, billing, any sort of exchange between two people in that sense. Um, just observe what's going on there. Make sure that you are asking for what you need, um, but you're also seeing value in what people are giving to you. So Rosalind, I hope that gives you some insight. And we will move on to Heather. And let's see what the cards have in store for you. If you're just joining us, so I see people are popping on. Um, let me know if you'd like a card. I'll, I would love to pull a card for you offer you some insight in your week, what to look forward to, what to watch out for, um, whatever it is. Even if you have a specific question, you can pop that into the comments and let me know. So for Heather, let's see what we've got for you leading into this week. And today, Monday, May 17th is tax day here in the US, well at least COVID tax day, right? Because they gave us a little bit of an extension, um, which I think most people that are just doing personal taxes probably did all that. Running, doing your business taxes takes way more time and effort. And, <laughs> and I also noticed when I was doing my taxes, I was sort of um, looking at my value directly related to how much money I brought in. And that was a real fun time. So, you know, <laughs> just something always coming up, always something to look at, always able to observe yourself and what's going on or experiences you may have in from the past. So Heather, for you today, we've got progress. Trust that progress is happening as a result of the pursuit of your dreams. So this is also a picture I took in the Galapagos and it's an iguana on the beach. And you can see up here at the top, there's another iguana. So he seems to be um, ahead of this iguana. So it's just a reminder of, there may be a perception that you should be here or maybe this person has done more than you or you're trying to catch up or whatever that is. Um, but you've got to trust that you are in the position you're supposed to be and that progress is happening even when you don't see it tangibly. Um, progress is still happening. And I'd like to read a little from the guidebook. What are progress and forward momentum? How is it measured? How does one know it's, if it's even happening? We say unto you this. There are many layers and approaches to this topic. Some progress, growth, and expansion are on a personal level. Some progress, growth, and expansion are on the business level. 
It is you, your soul, your, your learning, your understanding. Your business, first and foremost, has arrived in your life to become your teacher. You will learn many lessons about yourself, your skills, your capabilities, and your beliefs. You will outgrow outdated models, ways of thinking, and understandings. You will acquire many new skills. Your confidence and ability to believe in yourself will increase exponentially. This is the first progress in which of we speak. This is the progress we desire and design for you. This is the progress we care about. Progress in your business is secondary. We know and understand you have a great desire to see your business move in a straight line upward, ever expanding, ever increasing revenues. Yeah, wouldn't that be amazing? We say unto you this, this, it is entirely possible. You hold all creative power within you, yet most humans deep within their cells do not want this. You crave trials that lead to triumph. You want struggle that develops into success. You want tears that dissolve into laughter as you uncover more truths about who and how you are in the world. Measure your worldly progress. Yes, this is a tool for understanding yourself further. How much does it matter to you? Why? Are there other lessons embedded in the numbers? Other truths you need to uncover within yourself? Hint, yes. So, there you go, Heather. I hope that gives you some insight into maybe some things that you are thinking about this week or things that maybe have been a, a theme from the last couple of weeks. I don't know. Um, if you are on with us live, let me know if you'd like a card. All you have to do is say in the comments, you want a card. You can ask a specific question or I can just pull one for you. Um, and if you're just joining us, the collective card we pulled for everybody, which is just a common theme to start the week, was value. And that has to do with how we perceive value. So value is a perception, whether it's your own value or how other people are valuing you. And here's a reminder of what that card looks like. Each person decides what is of value to them. So what do you consider valuable? Do you consider your time valuable? Do you consider um, your skills valuable? Do you consider time connecting with other people valuable? What is it? What is it that you find valuable? We will just continue to stay on until there's no more requests. Um, and remember, you can get your deck at entrepreneuroracle.com. They are available, and I will be shipping all orders out immediately. I am ready to move them. So they all need a home. It's a great tool for yourself. If you know people that run their own business or anybody that uses Oracle cards, I think we'll find some real insight and help with this. Um, navigating your emotions, not ignoring your emotions, not um, pushing them down, but how to work through them. Actually, on some of the cards, there's what I call the navigation section. Um, which offers you um, a couple different opportunities to move the energy out or through. And by energy, I mean the emotions, because sometimes they can get stuck. You can feel down or depressed or overwhelmed, and you just don't really know how to move that through you. So the navigation section, and we'll look at the navigation section for our collective card, which is value. Um, so I tried to create some activities that were both um, practical, like if you like to make lists, but also activities um, like meditating or yoga or getting out of the house, walking in nature, that sort of thing. So for the value card, which was our collective card today, the navigation section offers you a few things. Uh, make a list of five of your values. Ask three friends or colleagues to do the same. Notice, without judgment, what you consider as values compared with what others believe are values. Are they the same? Are they different? 
So that's sort of the practical way of moving through that. And you, it's a kind of a fun activity because you'd be surprised what you think your values are versus like your friends and family. Um, the other option is meditating with the mantra, today I choose to see my value in the world. So today I choose to see my value in the world. And all of that insight for each card, all 44, insight, how to use them, um, and just so much insight. I mean, this is sort of like a, a lab labor of love because, you know, it's not really like a get rich quick theme or anything. So um, you'll really love this deck. Um, EntrepreneurOracle.com is our website. And I can show that to you here on the screen. If you go to the upper right corner of the screen, you will see buy a deck there. Um, you will also see in the upper navigation, if you click on blog, that's where you'll find all our past episodes of Coffee and Cards. And you can see we've done quite a few. If you click on the EO shop, you will see not only the deck, but some of the products that we still have available. We've got sodalite, hematite, arganite, calcite. We've got a few other things. We've got this lovely um, roll-on, the crown of love oil, which I use almost always before each one of our readings here. Um, and we've got the moon spray. Um, we've got a little bit of um, selenite left and we're also trying to make our deck available to wholesale so if you run a shop either online or physical um, just contact us at wholesale at rrmarketingdesign.com and we can talk so if you click on the deck itself gives you a little more information about it all that we've discussed today 44 cards 138 pages all original photography and design and insight. So this doesn't come from anywhere else. This is fully um, designed and created from insight. Um, you will see some samples of all the cards, some of which you may have seen today, some not, um, and you'll just add to cart. You'll see a little more examples of some of the other cards and we can look at more of them here. Um, but. I hope you have enjoyed our reading today. Again, we've still got a couple minutes, so if you're on, um, let me know in the comments if you would like another card. And if not, I think I'll pull one for myself today um, just to see where I'm at today. It's okay to do a little bit of self-care. You can add this into your morning routine, to your evening routine. To your lunchtime routine only takes about five minutes or less of your time and let's get let's see what the cards want me to. it's it's really interesting though like every time I go to the cards I get more and more from them so today my card is projections it doesn't matter what others believe about you only what you believe about yourself and so for me, since collectively we chose the value card, this projections to me means that value card is really a reminder of this. My value is my value and other people's value is theirs. And there's no way I can know what their value is. So this picture is really cool. I took this one is from, I believe, Fort Bragg in California where along the coast, they've got these trees that sort of grow with the wind. Um, so the projection is actually in the direction of the wind, yet the trees still grow upwards. So anyway, that's a pretty fun card there and good memories. So, well, with that, I'd like to thank you guys all for joining me today. And again, entrepreneuroracle.com, we are on here on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, um, and you can now also find us on Clubhouse, the Entrepreneur Oracle. We had our first room last week, and we will probably continue doing that. And um, 
again, I hope you guys have a great week and I hope you get your very own deck. And as you can see, there's our the back of the cards. It's like a satin black with a gloss black logo. And that was so that doesn't take away from the other side because the pictures are so colorful. And I hope you get your own copy. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope we have offered you some great insight to start your week. Thank you, Roslyn. Have a great day. Heather, have a great week. Oh, Sissy says she's going to join us on Clubhouse. Awesome. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting vibe there. You could just talk. And um, we've been sharing stories of um, just stories, really. It's run a little differently than we do here. But all we do is it's just a place to like vent or talk about how you're feeling. And um, yeah, I hope you'll join us. So have a great day. And I will see you guys soon.